Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a highly requested video going over Forex and taxes, how I do taxes as a Forex trader. And I'm going to give you the ins and outs, tips, tricks, how to save money when trading, how much you should be putting to the side, and pretty much all the details when it comes to having to do your taxes. I am not in any way, shape, or form a tax professional. This is just what I do. I'm not giving you professional tax advice. I'm not a lawyer. I don't do any of that. So don't come back and say I told you and try to come sue me because no. Before we get into it, make sure you like this video and comment down below why you started trading because I always do giveaways when I post these Forex videos. So I go through the comments and I pick one random person and I either give you a free month access to the Signal Group or even free access to my Elite Group. So go ahead and do that and make sure you subscribe for more videos. Let me know what else you want to see and we're just going to get right into it. So as a trader, you want to do a couple of things. When it comes to taxes, the first thing you want to do is make an LLC. An LLC has many pros, some cons. We're going to go over that. That's the number one thing that you want to get done. It helps you when it comes to paying taxes back. So get your LLC. The second thing you want to do is find out how much you should put aside every time you get a deposit or you take money out and put it into your account. So you have to see how much of a percentage you need to save. Every single time you take money out, you should take a percentage of that. So every deposit, this isn't just generally speaking like throughout the year it's every time you take money out you should put a percentage of that so let's say you take a thousand dollars out and you have to put 200 um 20 percent so you put 200 dollars to the side the next thing you want to do is contact your broker So you want to contact your broker, make sure that they send you a 1099. So you could just write to them and ask them, hey, do you guys send a 1099 at the end of the year? And uh, what the 1099 is, is a layout. It tells you how much you make. So it's going to tell you every single month and have a breakdown of every month, how much you made, how much you um, ended up taking out of your account and paid yourself. So you need to ask them. Do you guys send out a 1099 because you need that paper in order to know the numbers you have to put in when you go and do your taxes. The fourth thing you need is BBA is a business bank account. So when it comes to having an LLC or when it comes to trading, you need a business bank account. You can't keep your finances your personal finances with your trading money, so your business finances, especially if you have an LLC, it's required to have a business bank account. So one thing you need to know when it comes to having a business bank account is um, where, where I went, they usually give you one. They tell you or set you up with a bank, but when it comes to getting that account, a lot of banks are very iffy as a forex trader giving you a business bank account so they might try and say no to you and deny you um, that account because they think of forex as a liability is not guaranteed money so they don't want to give you a business bank account so what you can do instead of telling them that you just trade that's one way to get around it tell them that you create courses education and um, mentorship and then that's a better way in order to get approved for your business bank account. So we're gonna go over to the computer and I'm gonna show you the website that I used and all the details with all of these things. All right, so this is the process I went through in order to get the LLC and then how I knew how much I should be putting away, uh, what tax bracket I fit in when you pay your taxes, so on and so forth. So we're going to go through all that. So the first thing that I did, I went to Ink File. You can go to different websites, but when I ended up Googling LLC, this is the first thing that popped up. So I went here um, and then it'll give you like all this information. It's pretty good. So you can go and look it'll give you like 
pros and cons of having an LLC. So like you won't do the self-employment taxes. And when you do have your LLC, you have to keep your business finances separate from your personal finances. Like it says here, keep your business and personal separate. So you will have to open a bank account with um, just like a business bank account. And we're going to get more into that as well, because that can be a little tricky. Um, some banks, they're like iffy when you say I'm opening a business bank account because you're trading because they don't think it's guaranteed money. So you're like a liability or a risk. So I'll teach you or show you how to get around that. Um, it shows you the requirements, types of LLCs, the pros. You get a lot, a lot of deductions as like if you have an LLC. So um, you go to file so you can click there and it'll tell you like what you're trying to go for so you click llc and you pick the state that you're in so i'm in massachusetts right now so not every state is going to be this expensive um you have your state fee so each state has its own fee and depending on what state you live in will depend on your fee so some states like massachusetts or california it's really expensive to live there so they charge you a whole lot more versus like going somewhere else like let's look at arizona for instance look it went to 85 dollars and now it's only like 384 versus what it was at 819 so you can see the difference um in how much it actually is i did not go with the basic package and i didn't go with like the best must have quote unquote must have you don't really need it you could just decide which one works for you. I already have like a domain name and a business name and stuff like that. So I didn't need that. I didn't feel the need for some of these things. So I just went with the most popular gold. Um, so you go ahead and do that. And then you pay your package fee and your state fee. And you get started with that. So when it comes to taxes, you pay quarterly taxes when you are an LLC or when you're own, your own business, what, same thing. Um, and those taxes come on January, April, June, and September. So you will be paying taxes four times a year versus the one at the beginning of the year. You do pay taxes. You don't, like, it's not a regular job where taxes are getting taken out. So it gets broken down into four separate payments. So you will save um some of your money from when you are getting your um deposits through that time so like from january to april and then you pay in april and then you know april to june you pay in june june to september you pay in september september to january you pay in january and you'll keep all your information from those quarters and then pay when it's due um it's i feel like it's easier that way at, at first this seems very complicated because you have to go from paying once to paying four times, but it's broken down so it's like smaller payments instead of paying one big lump sum. You have all of that and then these are your tax brackets. So you will decide or however you file your taxes, if you file um, single, married, or married filing separate or head of household. So usually... Um, However, you usually file your taxes. If you're single, you're single. Head of household, you know you have kids and stuff. You'll go head of household. And then you will see how much you make. And that's how much you should, around how much you should save or how much you'd be paying. So because I'm a parent, I file head of, head of household. So I go to this section. And this is something you should really pay attention to. You could even do it here and I'll just like tell you. And then you go down to see how much you make. And um, if I were to do this annually, then I would go down to see how much I'd make. And then I would like go over and I'll be like, all right, so I'm going to be paying like 35%. So this isn't exactly how much I make because I'm not going to tell you guys, but I would go down to head of household. Then I would go and put approximately... Um, how much I make and then I fit in the 35% range which is what I put to um, the side or what I would pay so you won't have to pay all of that so this is what you usually do right um, 
it gets broken down quarterly, but if I were to do this annually, 35% of 225, that's 78, 750. So I don't ever come close to paying that much. All right, I usually put 20% away. And even then, like, I don't, I don't come close to paying that much in taxes. So um, this is where the LLC comes into play. Don't let this number scare you, all right? So you have a lot of deductions. Every single thing you use when it comes to trading is a deduction. You can deduct group functions. So if you go and um, do a meeting or a Zoom or whatever that is, or you have to go somewhere, you can deduct that. You can deduct your laptop, your cell phone bill, your the light, some of the light, like some of your light bill from your household. You can deduct your room. So if you use that room to trade, you could deduct the square footage, which would be a partial amount of your rent. So um, you would put the total rent and then the square footage that you're using, and then it'll do the percentage of your rent and deduct that off as well. Um, you can deduct your TV, TV. So I ended up using my TV in order to put the screens on the TV. So you can deduct that as well. Um, your camera, you can take away any office supplies you can take away literally absolutely anything that has to do with trading so something else you should look into and would be helpful i can do a part two to this if you like going more in depth just let me know down in the comments is hiring yourself through your llc so you're going to be the employee of your business and you can get a lot more benefits that way as well this goes over the basic ideas and the beginning steps of doing your taxes and everything you need to know just as a whole. That is actually extra information. So if that is something you want to know, let, like I said, let me know down in the comments and I can make a part two to this video. So that's it for this video going over how I do my taxes as a Forex trader and as a business in this sense. If this video was helpful. If it was helpful, like it and share it with other people that may need this information as well. And I hope to see you in the next video.